Hello, my guitar friends. Welcome to Positive Grid's YouTube channel. My name is Andy Ferreira, and on this very short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find and record with BiasFX2 inside your DAW. We're going to use GarageBand on a Mac, and right now, I'm going to walk you through the entire step-by-step -step process. So join me in my computer screen for a second. First things first, you've got to have the AU VST version of BiasFX2 installed in your computer. So go to PG's website, click on this icon, My Account, License and Download, find BiasFX2, click on Download, and select AU VST. Then you download and install it. Now let's fire up GarageBand. We're starting a new project, and I want to record guitar. But before before we start recording and having fun, we have to make sure our audio interface is properly set up. We want to come to the upper left corner, click on GarageBand, and then on Settings. Inside the Settings menu, come to Audio MIDI, and then you're going to set up both your output and input devices as your interface. You also want to make sure that audio units are enabled so that you can use BiasFX2. Now it's time to access Smart Controls. In my computer, GarageBand already opened with Smart Controls already loaded. If that was not your case, you can click on View and then on Hide or Show Smart Controls or press the letter B on your keyboard. Now let's add BiasFX2 to this project. On your smart controls, you wanna make sure you have the track tab selected, and then you'll scroll down to plugins. Open the pop-up menu, scroll down, and you're gonna see we have a bunch of stuff loaded in already. I'm gonna get rid of all of them. Now we click on one of these slots, scroll all the way down to audio units, find positive grid, and then BiasFX2. If you can't find audio units, you go back to preferences and make sure that you selected that option. Guess what? Now you're ready to record with BiasFX2 inside GarageBand. For detailed recording instructions with GarageBand, you may want to refer to our video GarageBand Recording Basics. If you encounter issues while loading BiasFX2 within GarageBand, here are some troubleshooting tips. If you see this issue, Click on GarageBand, Settings, go to the General tab, and check out Accessibility. Make sure this box is unchecked. Another good troubleshooting tip, open up a Finder window, click on Go, and hold your Option key. Then you click on Library. Then you look for the Audio Folder, Plugins, and Components. If there's no BiasFX2 component in this folder, here's what you're going to do. Open up a new Finder window, go to Mac HD Library, find your computer name, go to Mac HD Library, Audio, Plugins, Components, copy this file and paste it on the previous folder. After that, you go back to the library folder, find Caches, Audio Unit Cache, and you take this file and you move it to your desktop for backup. If these steps do not resolve the issue, you can always watch a tutorial for further assistance. That's it. Now you're able to create music with BiasFX2 loaded as a plugin in GarageBand on your Mac. If you like this short video, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to PG's YouTube channel so you stay up to date with everything that's new in PG's world. Well, my guitar friends, I've been Andy Ferreira. I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you on another video. Now go make some music.